welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about sleep. Um, and when I mean sleep, I mean toddler sleep. Um, Joey has been an off and on good sleeper for about a year now. This time last year, things were absolutely terrible with his sleeping. Um, we probably think it was due to the fact that I was working part time and my um, shifts were sort of all over the place so he was in nursery like all different times of the week um, but you know this time last year we sort of came up with a bit of a routine for him and I'd say sort of ever since February last year well this year um, things have sort of really improved until <laughs> very recently um, so I thought I'd share with you um, what we have sort of done and things that have helped us um, just in case there's any other parents out there whose toddler is a bit off and on with their sleeping I know that things don't often work for every um, family um, everybody's got their own sort of different situation and stuff like that um, so let's get to it then so this time last year he was at nursery um, he just really wasn't great at sleeping um, I'd actually got into the habit it, this is like really bad I got into the habit of actually letting him fall asleep in bed next to me um, and then I would then transfer him into his own room and his cot um, and things were fine he was absolutely fine with that um, he'd sleep through the night and then about it was probably this time last year where he just every time I put him in bed um, he'd have about three or four hours sleeping in his own room and then he'd just wake up crying and uh, because at that point I'd probably already been asleep so I was like woken up tired and all I wanted to do was get him back to sleep and the only way to do that was to get him in our bed so it sort of started off that he was just in our bed every night for weeks and um, you know we only have a double bed which you can see behind it's not massive to fit all three of us in um, and you sort of find that you don't really get a great night's sleep when you've got your kid in bed with you because you sort of you're very aware when you're asleep that there is somebody else in bed with you apart from your husband or your partner um, and that you can't really turn around and I was finding that I had to sleep on my side and my arm would get um, like pins and needles or would go all dead and I couldn't really feel it so me and my husband were at sort of loggerheads because you know we just wanted to sleep we wanted our own beds back so what we ended up doing, I think, I'm not too sure if it was still while I was working or once I'd finished work in February, but we sort of just tried to stick to a routine. So it was just making sure that you, after um, sort of, we always watch In the Night Garden on CBBS, um, the bedtime hour I think it is. Um, so we always watch that with him while he's having his milk and then he knows that it's time to go to bed. So I put him in bed, um, so that's around soft as between 7 7 30 i'll go to bed um so this time last year what i was doing i was doing that we were watching um, in the night garden and then i'd take him to bed between seven and half seven and what i had to do at first i was actually had, had to stay in his room with him and i've just got a little seat at the side of his cot and i'd have to stay with him for up to half an hour until he fell asleep and then i'd have to like try and like sort of tiptoe out like a ninja in case like there was a squeaky floorboard um so it, it did it everything was fine you know we got to a place where um you know he was going to sleep within sort of half an hour um it sort of became easier sort of in around the spring and the summertime um it just became easier and i was only having to maybe stay in his room for about 10 minutes um but then over the past six months I've not been having to stay in his room with him which is fantastic because I can put him in his bed um, and he won't really get up or anything in his cot I don't think we don't have a video monitor we just have like a, a sound monitor I don't think he really gets up I think he just goes straight to sleep um, and that means that I can actually just go downstairs and I can watch TV which is something that I've never done before um, until recently I don't know if it's because we had the clocks go back or forward um and obviously it's getting colder but about last week or the week before 
he went to bed as normal and then he woke up at about 11 o'clock at night screaming he wouldn't settle himself back down i'd put him in our bed try and transfer him back to his own room and as soon as i put him down he'd wake up screaming so that meant for over over a week he was in our bed and it was really disappointing because we thought we got to a space where you know we had our own bed back and he was really great at sleeping because me and chris would say to ourselves like during the summer he's really really got so good at going to sleep and staying asleep and not really waking up during the night um so it, it, it's been disappointing recently because we've had a little bit of a setback but over the past i think two or three nights he's actually gone to bed and he's not woken up during the night um, which is fantastic because you just don't want your kid waking up in a night and I know there are probably toddlers out there who just sleep through the night and they don't have any issues or anything like that which is fantastic but then you know there are some of us who we have really bad problems and it's you know if you've got if you're both of you or one of you are working you really don't want to be waking up at three o'clock in the morning because your toddler just wants to be awake or they're just screaming so you know it is hard um you know there's been nights where i've just cried because I, you know I, I don't know what to do i don't know where to turn um it's all about trying to keep in in a routine and joey's uh, what is he he's like nearly two and a half now and um he still has one nap during the day or give or take sometimes he won't have a nap at all and that means that if we do, if i don't have to go and get my husband from work um of, a, of an evening at around five o'clock then um sometimes he'll just not have a nap at all and then just go to bed without having that nap or other times if i have to go and pick up my husband from work because i've got the car then it means that he has a nap um sort of on the way because it's dark and he just doesn't stay awake um but then sometimes he's okay going to bed so i think it's just trying to work out what's best for you really if um your child is a toddler and they don't need a nap during the day then don't try and force them but if you think that they're really they're not going to last sort of to tea time then i think it means that they are going to need a nap um, I'm really hoping that um, things sort of don't go back to how they've been over the past week. Um, I hope that he just stays asleep during the night because it just makes our life easier. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd share with you sort of um, Joey's sort of sleep routine um, because I know a lot of people like I see on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that that. Um, you know other other families are having problems with their toddlers um and it is difficult it is difficult because you're always sort of asking for some sort of um have you got any advice and it's it's just what works for us really um so yeah that's it if you have any sort of tips i mean touch wood joey's okay at the moment well he has been for the past two or three nights and he will just sleep so hopefully fingers crossed it will just stay that way um but i mean he's not great 100 percent of the time he might wake up now and again um and then he'll just go straight to sleep but um i'm really hoping that things don't revert back to the way that they were um so that's what we have sort of done over the past year just sort of tried to stick to it much of a routine as possible um i have also wrote about sort of uh, sleep updates on my blog so i'll try and link uh below but if you have found this video um so it's going to help you then give me a thumbs up um and if you've been in a similar situation then let me know um and if you can subscribe to this channel because i'll be doing more videos like this so thank you for watching